Well, 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 guess who ended up making another trade right after I went to bed? I know this happened like eight hours ago, but it's 3.12 p.m. here in Vancouver, and I just kind of woke up. Let's talk today about the Canadians and the Blackhawks, because they have made themselves a trade exchanging defenseman Nicholas Bodin from the Blackhawks system for forward Cam Hillis from Montreal. Now, Cam Hillis is a guy that I think a lot of Canadians fans might actually remember, especially from his time in the OHL. He was initially a third-round pick by the Habs back in 2018. He's 22 years old, a small center, 5'9", a right-handed shot. And for the most part, he was a pretty good OHL producer. As the captain of the Guelph Storm in 1920, he had 83 points in 62 games played. But as of late, he's mostly been a Trois-Rivières Lions guy in the ECHL. Wasn't all too impressive with the Laval Rocket, played a game for the Canadians last year because they were injured to all heck. But now he's being sent over to the Chicago Blackhawks in exchange for Nicholas Bodin. Now, Bojan's a pretty interesting prospect here, a guy that's also somewhat of a quote-unquote bust? No, I'm not going to use that word flat out. But Bojan was a former first-round pick by the Blackhawks in 2018, 27th overall, 5'11", 168 as a left-handed D-man. He's 23 years old, and he has mostly been a Rockford Icehogs guy for the majority of his pro career. He actually passed through waivers early on this season, and he was able to be claimed for free. Nobody claimed him, and because this guy was cleared through waivers, that adds a little bit of value onto him because there's more flexibility there for any NHL team that has him and wants to send him down or keep him back up. It's a little bit more flexible in that respect. But if you go over to this comment here on the Canadian subreddit by Tree Praka, it's a quick rundown of Bojan. Former first-round pick, 27th overall, small left-handed defenseman, put up respectable numbers in the QMJHL prior to the draft, but has not managed to impress offensively since, outside of a few good stretches in the AHL. He currently has 6 points in 22 NHL games and 42 points in 137 AHL games. He recently went and cleared waivers in early October. He was initially drafted for his impressive hockey sense and excellent and skating. His hockey vision is good, but he hasn't been able to translate things at a high level to the NHL yet. He could become a good puck-moving defenseman with some top four upside, but he's seeming more and more unlikely to become a significant piece at this point, given that he's 23 and hasn't lit up the AHL. There also are some extra links to more professional summaries from Dauber and Elite Prospects. This comment actually is kind of funny to see, too, made by JJB8712. Bowden is a complete bust. I wouldn't get your hopes up. The fact that he cleared waivers on the final year of his ELC at $863,000 should tell you all you need to know. At best, he'll be an eighth defenseman who can play third pairing minutes when one of your defensemen go down, but I really think we all will just keep him in Laval. This seems to be from a Chicago Blackhawks fan. But either way, at the end of the day, it is kind of interesting to see what the Canadians did here. They traded away an ECHL guy in Hillis for, at the very least, an AHL caliber guy in Bodin. He can be a call-up if the Canadians need some extra D-men. He is a left-handed defenseman and not a right, so it is kind of unfortunate in that respect. But at the same time, the Habs made a trade. I'd say they got better because, I mean... It's not really going out there and improving the Canadians per se, but it's more so improving the farm systems. Hillis was an ECHL guy, Bowden is an AHL guy, so I guess you could kind of see who is supposed to be more valuable here. But either way, Chicago, you're getting yourselves a reclamation project to play in Rockford in Hillis, and all I kind of do is just hope that he has a better pro career ahead of him because, I mean, of course, 9 points in 14 ECHL games is okay, But at 21 years old, it definitely doesn't spell immediate NHL superstardom just yet. So, I don't know. Talk in the comments about your thoughts about Hillis. I know a lot of Canadians fans were kind of high on him, but let me know your thoughts about him going over to Chicago and Bodin coming back in return. I hope you enjoyed this finisher on Shrolls 9. And, bye.